decade ago, an outback station worker out looking for crocodiles stumbled across something unusual. I thought they'd found a dinosaur just because there was these big bones that were petrified. Sticking out of the red soil at a Vern station 300 kilometres southwest of Catherine, a rare fossil of a giant wombat-like marsupial that roamed Australia thousands of years ago, a now extinct diprotodon, sure. excavated and taken to the museum. We don't know what it was doing there. It was just a one-off specimen that's been found. This particular fossil, fondly known as Shirley, is being prepared for exhibition. So as well as being the most northerly diprotodon found in Australia, it is one of the oldest ones. We collected a series of sediment samples from beneath the fossil, uh, from at the same level as the fossil and then above the fossil. And using OSL dating, optically stimulated luminescence dating, um, we were able to say when that sediment was last exposed to daylight. The specialist found Shirley is between 112,000 and 123,000 years old. That dating has allowed us to now start looking into what was happening in northern Australia in regard to diprotodons. We were interested in its age because it's very far north for a diprotodon discovery. Related to Australia's modern day wombats, diprotodons were the largest marsupial to ever live. It was about the size of a white rhinoceros, but without the horns. So it was large, four footed, slow moving, uh, and it was a plant eater. Shirley's now under the microscope again. We are now using uh, handheld tools to carefully clean off all the adherent clay and rock that is sticking to the skeleton, so to make it nice and clean and ready for display. A complex process that could take longer than a year before she's ready for display. Roxanne Fitzgerald, ABC News.